All right, welcome guys once again to Think Tank TV. Recall that when it comes to political updates, entertainment, information, trending news and updates, we got you covered. Now, we've got early results coming from the coal city of Enugu State, where we have four major contenders. We've got Mr. Peter Mba of the People's Democratic Party. We've got Frank Nweke of Abga. We've got Uche Naji of APC and Chijoke Idioga of the Labour Party. Now, from analysis so far, it's obvious that the Labour Party's gubernatorial candidate is heading and coasting towards victory with leadership and the winnings in most of the LGAs. He has so far won in Ndunu, Nsoka and other local government areas, which is followed by Mr. Peter Mba of the People's Democratic Party leading in local governments like Nkano East and one other local government area. Now, don't forget that these are L reports and it's just an indication of where the results are going to tilt towards we also want to thank you for always pitching your tent around think tank tv to hear your updates from this platform if you're new to our session do well to hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up as a way of courtesy to us hit the comment section and tell us what your thought is now we also have analysis from some civil society organizations that has analyzed the elections so far with so much uh, regrets of the turnout of violence harassment and intimidation now from their analysis it's obvious that 31.3 percent of this election is coming from lagos state where obviously the tension has been high by virtue of uh Badeboroid vivo and the apc san will lose pressure now they also said that 64.2 percent of the election violence came from the southern nigeria wow that's very interesting which is which is which is quite different from what it used to be in the past now they're also saying that 50 percent of the violence the harassment and intimidation came in the early hours of the morning between 9 and 12 pm now despite the anomalies in the elections we also want to give a little kudos to INEC for showing up on time this election they, they resumed quite earlier than normal most in most of the polling units we realized that INEC officials resumed at about 8 30 which is which is an upgrade in the logistics arrangement they obviously have had now these violence and harassment intimidations are obviously signs of political underdevelopment why should there be violence when democracy should actually be an expression of the people's will now rather than us talking about sorrows deaths injuries and intimidation it should rather be a day of celebration a day where we say yes the will of the people has obviously taken its course and we're going to experience a new dawn in government like we keep telling young people that these politicians are out there to weaponize your poverty and ignorance all in a bid to use you for their selfish aim but i wonder why they keep still being used over and over and over and over again without realizing that these politicians are out there to use them dumb them and they come back crying again now if you're new to our station we'll urge you to do well to click the subscribe button because we'll be bringing more updates to you as these are just early reports and early early results from our end we will be bringing more information to you as the results keep rolling in thank you so much for all those who have been watching our videos who have been commenting and liking our videos we do not take it lightly if you're new to our station also do well to subscribe as well give us a thumbs up as a way of courtesy to us who do this job to keep you up to speed and hit the comment section tell us what your thought is about this video and we'll be here to serve you ensure you do well to turn on the notification buttons as well and we'll be here to serve you thank you so much for being there we'll bring more updates to you as we move on my name is moses